Welcome back. It's great to see you back for part two of our series on cancer causing food. If you tuned into our last video, you'll know that we covered some pretty eye-opening information about foods that we should all be avoided to reduce our risk of cancer. But don't worry, we're not here to bring you down with doom and gloom, we're here to educate and empower you to make healthy choices. Taking care of our health should be a joyful and uplifting experience, not a daunting task. So, let's approach this topic with a positive attitude. We all know that the food we eat plays a crucial role in keeping us healthy and happy. While we already have a good idea of what we should be eating, it's equally important to be mindful of the foods that we should avoid. By learning about these foods and avoiding them, you can make a positive impact on your health and well-being. So, let's dive into this topic with a smile and take a step toward a healthier lifestyle. Number 1 is Potassium Bromate. Did you know that some of the bread you find in grocery stores may contain a potentially cancer-causing ingredient? Potassium bromate, a food additive commonly used to make bread dough more elastic, has been flagged by various health organizations as a possible carcinogen. It's even banned in several countries, including the EU, the UK, Canada, and Brazil. In the United States, California has taken action and requires a warning label on products that contain this ingredient, which can also be listed as brominated flour. Don't worry, there are plenty of delicious alternatives available that don't contain potassium bromate. The next on the list is all about everyone's favorite guilty pleasures, fried and grilled foods. But before you reach for that plate of sizzling hot wings, hear us out. While these cooking methods may result in mouth-watering flavors, they can also produce carcinogenic compounds that may increase the risk of certain cancers, such as pancreatic and prostate cancer. So, it's essential to be mindful of our consumption and balance our cravings with healthier options. Number 3 is Trans Fats. While they may make processed foods and baked goods taste delicious, consuming them has been linked to an increased risk of various cancers, such as breast and colorectal cancer. It's essential to be aware of the impact of trans fats on our health and take steps to reduce our consumption. Trans fats are particularly problematic because they don't occur naturally in many foods, but are instead created through a process called hydrogenation. This process converts liquid oils into solid fats, making them easier to use in food production and increasing their shelf life. Unfortunately, this process also creates trans fats. In response to growing concerns about the health risks of trans fats, many countries have taken action to limit or ban their use in food production. It's essential to be mindful of the presence of trans fats in processed foods and to make informed decisions about what we eat to reduce our risk of health issues, including cancer. Let's move on to number 4 refined carbohydrates. While foods like white bread, pasta, and rice may be tasty and satisfying, consuming them in excess can have negative consequences for our health. Studies have linked a diet high in refined carbohydrates to an increased risk of various types of cancer, including colon cancer. Refined carbohydrates can cause rapid spikes in blood sugar levels, leading to chronic inflammation in the body. This inflammation has been linked to the development of cancer and other chronic diseases. Additionally, Refined carbohydrates are often low in fiber, which can disrupt digestion and contribute to digestive issues, including colon cancer. In contrast, complex carbohydrates like whole grains, fruits, and vegetables contain more fiber and take longer to digest, resulting in more gradual and steady blood sugar levels. These foods have been associated with a lower risk of cancer and other chronic diseases. It's essential to be mindful of the quality and quantity of carbohydrates we consume and to choose healthier options whenever possible. By incorporating more complex carbohydrates into our diets and reducing our intake of refined carbohydrates, we can lower our risk of cancer and other health issues. Next up on our list is a colorful topic, artificial colors. While these vibrant dyes may make our foods look more appealing, they have also been linked to potential health risks due to some of the chemical components they contain. Some of these dyes have been shown to cause genetic mutations or cell damage in animal studies, leading to concerns that they may have similar effects in humans. Additionally, 
certain artificial colors have been linked to hyperactivity and behavioral issues in children. While the research on the specific health risks of artificial colors is still ongoing and controversial, it's important to note that some countries, such as the European Union, have banned certain food dyes due to safety concerns. In the United States, the FDA requires that all approved food additives, including artificial colors, undergo safety testing before they can be added to foods. As with all food additives, it's essential to be mindful of the types and amounts of artificial colors we consume and to consider more natural options whenever possible. By choosing foods that are naturally colorful or that use natural coloring agents, we can reduce our potential exposure to artificial colors and other additives and support our overall health and well-being. Our next food on the list is salmon, but not the kind you might be expecting. While salmon is often touted as a healthy and nutritious food, the way it's farmed can make a big difference in its safety and health benefits. Farmed salmon can potentially cause cancer because they are often raised in crowded and stressful conditions, which can lead to a higher risk of disease and infection. In order to prevent these diseases, farmed salmon are often treated with antibiotics and other chemicals, which can leave behind harmful residues. In addition, farmed salmon are often fed with synthetic feeds that contain contaminants such as polychlorinated biphenyls, PCBs, and dioxins, which can accumulate in the fish's flesh and potentially increase the risk of cancer in humans. According to the Environmental Working Group, Farmed salmon can have up to 16 times the amount of PCBs found in wild salmon. Overall, while salmon can be a healthy food choice, it's important to be mindful of how it's farmed and choose safe and sustainable options. Up next on our list is a drink that's popular all over the world, soda. But before you crack open that can of fizzy goodness, it's essential to know that drinking too much of it may increase the risk of cancer. According to a Swedish study, Men who drank even just one 11-ounce soda a day were 40% more likely to develop prostate cancer. And that's not all. An analysis by Johns Hopkins University in Maryland and U.S. Consumer Reports found that the chemical 4-methylamidazole, which gives some sodas their caramel color, may also be linked to increased cancer risk. Thanks for sticking with us through this video. We hope it was informative. Remember, taking care of our health can be a delicious and exciting adventure. If you are looking for more tips and tricks on how to stay healthy and prevent cancer, be sure to browse through our channel for more helpful videos. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a new upload from us. Thank you for your support, and we'll see you in the next video.